All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor <laughs> to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akakodash, which in the Hebrew language means uh, <laughs> Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Ba'ashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is whom <laughs> the world ignorantly and stubbornly calls Jesus. All right, where Akakodash means Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well through the scriptures. Peace of the hopeful elect. This is the brother Kaya and the brother Gabaria doing it in transit. And on screen it says response, Eric Mason and Black Plantation Christian Pastors. This was done by the uh, elder Yashawamba in uh, Dallas. And watching this, listening to this video, the, the spirit, you know, had it where I just thought of a couple things. And I just thought, why? You know? Why is these 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 uh these so called black pastors and these uh you know these uh, the people that come from our nation because we are the Israelites we are the Negroes the uh, the so called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans we are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of okay we're not we're not black we're not we're not Hispanic we're not Native American we're the Israelites all right so with that being said. Why are our people trying to trying to come up against what the Lord is doing? All right, the Scripture says, uh, uh, Salakia. Let's get uh, let's open this up with uh, this is uh, the Book of Hosea, one and ten. All right, real quick. Let me get that real quick. Hosea. West, South, okay, going South. All right, so like it. Yeah. Wow. Okay, it says, uh, verse 9, Hosea 1 and 9. Then said the Most High, Call his name Lo Ami, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your power. And that happened. We lost who we were, we lost our nationality. We lost the knowledge that we are, were the Israelites, and, and that's the state you see our people in today. But we coming out of that state, all right? Because uh, verse 10 says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass, and it's coming to pass. It has, it has been coming to pass since our, uh, the apostles and elders and their elders been on the highways and byways prophesying through the Spirit of the Lord, all right? It's, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. Yeah, it was said that we was Gentiles. All right, our nationality, uh, especially the so-called Negroes, changed every 20 years. Colored, Negro, African American, black. All right, it says uh, where it was said to them, ye are not my people. It says there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. And that's where it's being said at. All right, in, in, in New Babylon, all right, which is America, okay? One second. And also, um, to, uh, to back that up, uh, we, are, we, are, we already know in Jeremiah, the, um, was it 17 and 9, where the Lord said, we shall discontinue from our heritage, and it's 17 and 4, yeah, and it's, and, and, and it's just, uh, it's not by happenstance that that's actually a tactic of Esau, you know? Esau has that tactic to, um, to what, uh, uh, to, 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 to everybody that you oppress, everybody that you conquer, you're supposed to uh, 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 basically um, make them uh, forget who they were. All right, that's why they have. That's how they have what? That you kill all the men and you kill all the uh, the boys and you only keep the women. All right, that's a, a, a tactic of Esau. You know, so by us, you know, forgetting who we were, you know, through you know uh, uh, through Yahweh Shah, but uh, 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 um, he had he had that he had that Pacific trait embedded in Esau. All right. To, 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 that's why it goes into the uh, well. I think that's in Micah or Malachi, where it says um, that press a man uh, in his home, even a man in his heritage, man. Micah, yes, kind. You know, that's it's talking about Esau, man. Esau oppresses a man in his home and even a man of his heritage, man. All right. How does he oppress our heritage by what? Putting his uh, his faces all over it, iconoclasm. You know, putting his faces everybody through the number one, ooh, through Yahweh Shah. All right. And then he and then, and then he brainwashes certain. Men of our uh, certain uh, men of our uh, uh, of our tribe to preach to preach what he to, to preach what he says is right. All right, that's the that's the um what's it called uh 
uh, 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 in-house slaves, you know, uh, house, house, house niggas, slaves. you know, that do anything with master say. Right, was that for the, uh, right, because it says, uh, you, you mentioned the Micah, matter of fact, we get that real quick, uh, Micah 2, Micah 2 and 2, it says, uh, Micah 2 and 2, it says, I start at the top. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And this is talking about the so-called white man, all right? But this also can be applied to our people because you got these uh, you got these people coming up against us. Eric Mason, uh, 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 G-Man, uh, 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 Jada Producer, uh, Cherry, uh, uh, you know, all these different, and they're supposed to be our people. But they thinking of ways, they're devising plans to, to, to refute what we're saying. When what we're saying is through the Spirit of the Lord is coming out the Scriptures. Verse 2, And they covered fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Right, so the so-called white man taking away fields, taking the, uh, uh, committing violence all over the earth. And we're prophesying against that, but you're helping them. All right, you're, you're basically agents of Satan. Because you're helping them by coming against what we're saying, and what we're saying is the truth. All right? So this is a... Uh, and, and and back to the question, why? Why would you be Why would you be doing that? All right? Well, one of the first answers is uh, uh, you just don't have the light, as the scripture says. You just, you just in darkness. You just in gross, uh, gross darkness. All right? So one second. Let me see. All right, this is Isaiah 8 and 20. It says, uh, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So you don't have Yahweh Shai. You don't have uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? You're speaking out of your own belly. But you have the, the so-called white man, which the Bible calls Esau, uh, the devil and Satan. That's who you have. All right? And that's who in their right mind will, will, will speak against what we're saying as a... As an Israelite, this is for you. Like Jeremiah uh, and the book of Jeremiah said, I prophesied for their good. What we're telling you is this is for your good. Come back to the to the Heavenly Father. It is it, 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 it is a uh, the scripture says it is a very bitter and evil thing to turn away from the Lord. And having our lives as a people been bitter since then, we all trapped in uh, uh we're all ensnared in uh what the scripture say, Haggai, uh, our money going to a bag full of holes, basically. You save up money, and then stuff just happens, and now you back to you back to point A. It, uh, you you go three steps forward to go five, six steps uh, steps back. That's because we turned away from the Lord, and we telling we telling you know our people to come to the Lord and everything will be good. But you're speaking against that. All right. It says. Uh, let me jump to. Uh, oh, and, and this. Then, okay, you got it. Johnson, and then if I mean. You gotta see the things that they're preaching. But the things that they're pre been preaching, man, they've been preaching for hundreds of years, and has not yet gotten no, not one good thing, man. See the thing? Because you gotta understand, if something, if something uh, is uh, basically been preached, has been uh, uh, applied, and it's not doing no no good, you see, matter of fact, you see actually things getting worse than what it is. Then something that you're saying it must not be true, or something that you're saying is must not not must not work it. All right. Because yet you have, and it's constant. How many, how many, how many Christians is on this planet? What, two point six billion? Mm -hmm. uh, two point six billion Christians on this planet Earth. When the scriptures alone say, after one hundred forty-four thousand wake up, then the end shall come. Matter of fact, that's the whole reason why the Lord is not um, uh, 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 bringing sending destruction, these, bring, bringing destruction, and sending these missiles over here. He told the winds to hold back, and you know, he told the four winds to hold back until the number is sealed. Mm -hmm. And he told me out of two hundred and six. 2.6 2. billion people, there's not one of the people, who's, uh, there's not 144,000, that's 144,000 times what, quadruple? Mm -hmm. Almost there in a quadruple. Many times over. Many times over. Mm -hmm. so, you, so even all, all those people, you're talking about that the end has not yet come, that means guess what? Out of all that 2.6 billion, hey, they don't have it, man. That's not the way. All right? I'm on something for you. Uh, Matthew 24 and 14, it says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations right. and then shall the end come. Right, man. So you got to think, these, pe these, these, these people that's coming against us is just really just telling us to basically go about our way, go, go about our way, 
so they can keep pushing the stuff that we've been basically been pushing ever since we was children, man. All right, which like no, man, that that's not the way. That doesn't work. All right, yeah. it's broken. It's not working. It's, it, there's something wrong with. There's errors. There's schisms in there, man. Yeah. Now you were supposed to say, oh, well, what you're saying is not true. We're just gonna keep doing what 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 we've been doing. No, that's not the way. It's not working. All right, it's further indoctrinating our people. Yeah, they call that insanity if you keep doing the same yep. thing. And expect a different result. Right. And, and and furthermore, Christianity, that's been across the world yep. for hundreds of years. Absolutely. Hundreds of years, Christianity, uh, 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 under the image of uh, uh, white Jesus, yep. or under the image of Jesus, because uh, Jesus is white, all right? The, the, the fictional character that was made up to replace whom the Bible describes uh, who the, who Yahweh Shai is, because the Bible speaks of Yahweh Shai, all right? He, uh, uh, which Revelation describes as a, as a dark-skinned man with, uh, with white, woolly hair, all right? And woolly hair uh, is, uh, uh, is something that prescribes to uh, Negroes, all right? So that gospel, that, that Christianity, the other white meat, uh, 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 so-called Jesus, that's been that's that's been around for hundred years and the end ain't came. But now as as we're prophesying the truth and you're seeing these pestilences happen, you're seeing these plagues, you're seeing the mark of the beast ramping up. The, the, China the, and Russia steady talking about nuclear war. Yep. Yeah. Steady talking about nuclear war now. You know? Yeah, the the the, the World War Three. You see that going on. Alright? But for but for all these things, will the people not turn away from their sin, man? Alright? Uh I had another. You ain't got nothing. I got a couple more. So. Uh, now this is Jeremiah twenty three and twenty one. It says, "I have not sent these prophets yet. They ran." Yep, they doing the diligent man. Every time we make a video, they make a response video right up on us, man. All right, and this is Christians we talking about. You know, Christians is known for being lazy and and and, and just do bare minimum. <laughs> like uh, Elder Yashawamba said, man, he said he, his grandma's been in the truth. I mean, truth. His grandma's been in the church for what, 15 years? And she don't even know what sin, sin is. 50 years. 50 years. Yeah. She don't even know what sin is. Mm -hmm. All right? So that just shows you that these these Christians don't even do a lick of studying. Matter of fact, we actually had a, 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 a Christian say, now we gotta now we gotta read the Bible. Does he see Bruce like God is reading the Bible? Mm -hmm. Was it pastor? Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh some more than one of them more than likely said it. Yeah, man. They say now these these Hebrews are like God is reading the Bible because we gotta make sure we what we're saying is right now. You know? Mm -hmm. So we we actually got them reading the Bible, which if you call yourself a pastor, you should already be reading the Bible, man. All right, scripture says what? Uh, the Lord shall give you pastors according, according to, to his, heart. according to my heart, and which will feed you with, with knowledge and understanding, man. How yeah. you going to be a pastor and you don't even know the uh, knowledge and understanding of the, uh, the scriptures, man? All right? Hey, the scriptures say in Malachi 2, matter of fact, we're going to get that. I'll get that. Uh, man, I'll quote it. The scripture say in Malachi 2, and uh, I think in Malachi 2, that is, is it not you, O priest, that you should know judgment? All right, you the you you just you you a head of Jacob, mm -hmm. you 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 a leader. Is it you supposed to know? The people supposed to come to you for uh. For, matter of fact, I'm gonna get it. All right, this is uh. So like it. This is Malachi two, and seven. It says, verse seven. For the priest's lips should keep not should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. So, the, so you should have the knowledge. It shouldn't be no, well, son, we'll know where we get there. And it shouldn't be no false knowledge. You shouldn't have any anything you say should not uh, uh, contradict the scriptures. Because it says the people should seek the law at his mouth. All right? And this whole book is the law. All right? Uh, uh, commandment, precepts. All right? Like uh, it was a saying, you, you people might say, well, uh, 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 well, his color doesn't matter. His color never mattered until we start saying that he was dark skinned, which 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 the Bible says, which the Bible agrees with. And now all of a sudden his color don't matter. But wait a minute, it's for it's for truth sake. It's for the sake of the truth. All right, the scripture says that uh, roughly paraphrasing, that a banner shall be displayed because of the truth. All right, all of it. It says, for he is the messenger of Yahweh of hosts. So you're supposed to, you, you're the Lord's messenger. Well, we're the true messengers of the Lord, all right? Because we, we're delivering his message. Because what? To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, there is no law in them. And we're speaking according to the scriptures, all right? So, so we're justified in our sayings when we judge, because we're going by what the scriptures say. 
verse 8. But ye are, depart are departed out of the way. Ye have, see, you left the way. All right? You gone. You've been seduced, and you just gone. It says, but ye are departed out of the way. Ye have caused many to stumble. You caused many to stumble. All right? At the law. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, said Yahweh of old. So it's corrupted. You Christians. Oh, the law done away with. That's the total. That's that's. Well, let me see what they got for corrupted. All right, in the Hebrew, shakaf, destroy, corrupt, go to ruin, decay. You to mar. So you destroyed the law. And what did the scripture says in Baruch four and one to the law that endured forever. All right. So the law, of the Lord endured forever, but you done corrupted it and destroyed it. Okay. So like, let me get this other line right here. This where we going. I got something. Okay, you got it. This is Micah chapter one. Chapter 3 verse 1 And I say here oh, pray, it's like it. And I say here I pray you O ye, o ye heads of Jacob And ye prince of the house of Israel It is not for you to know judgment That's a question Who hate the good and love the evil Who pluck the skin off their bone And flesh from off their It's like you pluck the skin off from off them And the flesh from off their bone Right because our, the scripture speaks about our people being dry bones Alright uh, uh, Revelation speaks about Uh Uh, uh their dead bodies. Their dead bodies. All right. So the, the the skin and the flesh coming on. That's us getting this. That's us getting the truth back. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we getting this truth back. You coming. You coming up and and you you plucking it right off, man. You catching people and you and and the the the, the scripture says none shall be plucked out of their hand. All right. Uh, none none is lost that that was already ordained because it's predestined. But you got but the ones you that the Lord allow you to lead astray because the scripture says the uh. The deceived and the deceiver are his. Those be the ones that 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 might be getting it a little bit, but might be on the fence and not being rooted and grounded, or, or the Lord just not dealing with them. They 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 get led astray. But the Lord gonna be they gonna die, and but the Lord gonna require that your hand. You see how the how the you see how the Lord just many fold like that. They ain't been ordained, but you the the Lord you the reason. The, the deceived and the deceived are here, so the, the Lord use you to deceive them. But you gonna have to you got to pay for that. All right, you still got it out. It says, "Who hate the good and love the evil, it's like, who who also eat the flesh of my people and fillet their skin from off their bones." And and you see when it says, well, "If you're eating somebody's flesh, let's talk carnal wise." Who is it gonna be? Is it gonna feel good to them or is it gonna hurt them? It's gonna hurt them and it's gonna benefit you because you're filling your own belly. All right. right, that's all. That's that's what that's the that's the benefits that you get. The 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 the, 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 C, the CP3 charter. You know the, the 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 tons of money these people give you. All right, the the money that they give you and you just give them a good a good a good feel a feel good speech. You know. Yep. So you're filleting, you're, you're eating their skin, man. You're 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 basically benefiting off their hurt. They're, you're benefiting off their uh, downfall, man. All right. It says, um, and fillet the skins from off them. And break their bones and chop them into pieces as the pot and as the flesh within within the card the cardinal cauldron cauldron mm -hmm. yeah man so see man it, it's describing you, uh, you you heads of Jacob which means it's talking about what you preachers because the people look at you like you're some uh, head or you're some uh, 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 leader. how can I say leader mm -hmm. leader you know and and, and, and they're, they're trusting their faith they having faith in, in you and look what you're doing man you know you're using them. You're abusing them. Yeah. Have, uh, talking to their women, say, "Oh, well, you, you just got, you got to leave that man and get you another man and mm -hmm. such and such." You know, tell tell them the, the, the children they need to this, they need to that. You know. Yeah, they run it. They run out. You got stories. Well, you you got women that won't even cook certain dishes for their husband, like if, uh, like a peach cobbler or something. You know, like a dish that people don't make often, but uh, they'll make it for the pastor. Yep. You got you got you got uh pastors ruling. People's houses, man. Yeah. All right. Got, living, living fat off of them. You got women that will, that will have an argument with their husband and go straight to the pastor and tell the pastor what what I, what I should do. Like, well, this is another man. Mm -hmm. This is another man saying, "Well, I'm gonna go tell the pastor," and she telling the pastor on her husband. Now, what is pastor? Is pastor basically saying, "Well, y'all need to work that out and sending it back to him," or no? She, you know, is, you need to do this. We need to have a counsel, and you need to have a counsel with another man and his wife. Yeah, that's the corrupting the law of Levi. Right. All right, because the the uh, scripture speaks about a uh, uh, metal knot with a man and his maid, yeah. something to that effect, man. That's that's completely going off, man. I got a. Uh, 
since we was talking about that, how they benefit off the people, I got uh, uh, John 11 and 48. Because I, uh, the wife went into with that philosopher. I forget who it was. I want to say Voltaire, but uh, I'm not sure. But it's a Latin phrase, and it's, it's, it says it's Q bono, and it means who benefits. So when you want to look at the problem, and you want to, if it, there's a problem, and you want to understand why it's going on, if you try to answer the question, who benefits? So if they raise a tax, and or or if like say for example, if they raise a tax or something, you say, well, damn, that don't make sense. If you know certain things happen and it just don't make any natural sense, you got to answer the question: Well, who benefits? Yeah. Who benefits from from this new law? And you always, you almost automatically get your answer. Yeah, if you if you do some research. So who benefits? Like why? Why is our own people coming against us? To what benefit is that to them to to uplift uh, white supremacy? Because that's what everything is outside of the truth is white supremacy. You thinking you are African and oh oh we comedic. Oh yeah, the uh, the Egyptian nigga. That's white supremacy. The the white folk gave you that. Who wrote all them books? All the then you going to read all the books and it, it, the 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 so called Negro or black authors. They the new ones. Be, before them, it was, uh, white folks wrote the books. On 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 um, they the one white folks was all have always been accepted uh, uh, obsessed with Africans and all that. They the ones who uh ta uh tattoos because they was doing that. Them them Africans. Ta who, who you saw doing that? Uh, Africans. Who you saw getting their uh, lips gauged and their the ears gauged and distant their lips? Af uh, white people copying the Africans. And they gave that to you. Like Nas uh, said in this ether this, I gave you a style you can run with. The so-called white man gave our people, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, a style they can run with. Whether it, whether it's as long as you as long as whatever you calling yourself or whatever you believe in, if it's not this scripture, then the the, the so-called white man got his hand in it. It's free game, yeah. All right, whether it be Christianity, because that ain't Christianity, don't corroborate what the Bible says. All right, but this is uh, cha uh John, chapter uh, eleven and verse forty-eight. It says, uh, and let me ask you this: Why, why is the majority of our people go to Christianity versus? And I'm not saying every single one of our people go to Christianity, but uh, in a massive, they go to Christianity, man. Because why? They have some type of tie to the Bible, man. Right. Yeah, you have some of them that goes to uh, uh, Buddhism and and and, and, and uh, Egyptologists and everything. Them, them just a handful. But in the masses, as, as a whole, our people generate the Bible. That's why Esau had to put his hand into it, man. That's yeah. why he gave us Christianity, which is Christianity is a complete opposite of the Bible, man. Mm -hmm. Or because he know our people is gonna generally uh, uh, attract to it, man. Yeah. And when I say our people, I'm talking about the northern and southern kingdom, man, because the uh, the northern kingdom they they just as bugged they out. just as bugged out, man. Look at all the type of idols they really heavy into Mary, man. Yeah. You know the mother of Yahweh Shai, which by God I have no idea why, but I mean still, bro, they 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 all they all into idols, man. You know. So, so what Esau had to put his hand into that man, you know, and by everything else, those are just um, nuggets. Yeah. You know, so if if somebody ever wants to think, well, let me let me go to something else. Let me let me go see something else because this might not be the way, you know. It's layer. It's like layers of deceit. Yeah, absolutely. If you I, if, oh you think you discover something, oh I got you there. You think you got some? I got you there. This is the only thing he ain't got his hands on because this is spiritual. Yeah. But this is a uh, John Saint John. Chapter 11 and verse 48, it says, uh, if we let, all right, and this is, uh, this the Pharisees, right? I'm going to start at 46. It says, but some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Yahweh had done. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, what do we? For this man doeth many miracles. And that's basically you people that's coming up against us, you, uh, you, uh, 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 Eric Masons. You Alton Johnstons, if I'm saying the names correctly. You G-Mans, all right? Uh, 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 all you Israelites, uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans with some type of, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Religious authority, if you will, coming up against the Hebrew Israelites. You in the stead of the Pharisees, all right? And because uh, that's a miracle that you got Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans Putting down guns, putting down weed, putting down cigarettes, putting down pork. Stop getting lying is because the Bible says so. All right, you people weren't doing that for Christianity. Christianity, you you uh, after church service over with, you go right down there in the basement 
eat, eat uh, ham, ham dinners, all right, uh, 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 catfish dinners, all, all that, all right. But the spirit of the Lord got, got, uh, got his elect, his hopeful elect doing that, man. That's a miracle. It says, uh, so you people seeing that, and it says, verse 48, if we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. So if you, if you leave us alone and just let us preach the truth, truth and peace, if you stop trying to digitally mess with the streams, if you stop trying to, uh, cause what you do is you try to provoke people into, 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 uh, uh, useless debates and try to provoke, provoke us into arguments, uh, uh, try to, try to get us to fight cause you, they do that. You got people running up to the camps, all in brother space, yelling, screaming, trying to get them to fight. All right. They did that to the San Francisco brothers. The Edomite, the Edomite chick ran up there and, and, and was, it was causing mischief. And, 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 and the brother defended himself and she fell. Oh, oh, arrest him. Look what he did to me. But the Lord didn't allow it. She ended up going to jail. And then the media put that image on TV and, and they just showed that part, just showed her falling. They didn't show the whole, everything that transpired. All right. So that's, a, that's, that's, that's the stead. That's the likeness that you, that you people coming in. Okay. It says, uh, if we let him alone, if we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. And the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. So basically, take away your 501c3. Because the 501c3 was, to, was set up to, to, um, to basically control, to basically control and uh, manipulate what the, uh, what the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans believed and how they felt. All right? So they're like, wait a minute, this ain't working no more. What's the point of me paying you? So they setting all you different, you setting you guys coming up like, oh, oh, we in trouble. All right, our little, and and then also people will stop believing on you because you you uh the Negro pastor and the Latino pastor is highly respected in the community. He can't do no wrong. You see, Eddie Long, he was out there having sex with boys and everything and all of the sort, and he get he get the uh he come back sick from the hospital. And they, they put him on a chair, you know, as if he a king, all right? So, but but with this truth coming out, people are like, man, you ain't, you, a, you a bunch of phonies, man. All right? It says, uh, let me jump to, uh, you saw, you saw something out? Uh, yeah, I got, um, hold on, I'm trying to go back to it right now. I'm going to read this then. This is, uh, Isaiah 28 and 15. It says, because ye have said... We have made a covenant with death, and that's what you've done. You made a covenant with death. Because the scripture says uh, the so-called white man, his rulership, he is as death. Why? Because everywhere he go, things die. Whether it be people, whether it be the land, whether it be animals. All right? Look how many animals have been extinct since he's been in rulership. All right? He, 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 he poisoning and polluting the air. He's, he's killing the air. The, the air is dying. Okay? Trees. All right? It says, because we have, and you made an agreement. This who you, this who our people have made an agreement with. This man. I ain't even talking about how he killing us in the streets. But what do, what do you got to say about uh, police brutality? Un, what, do you, what, do, what do these guys got to say about unprovoked police brutality? It says, uh, because you have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us, for we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood we have we hid ourselves. And you and that's you people are cloaked. Our own people is cloaked in falsehood and, and cloaked in lies. And that's what they're giving to the people uh, to, to benefit themselves. And that scripture says, so when the white man uh, uh, start persecuting people, oh, we did our job, boss. Don't whip us. Like 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 uh the house slave. I, I listen, master. Don't whoop me. No, you're gonna get it too. When the, when he come down with these uh 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 like the scripture says, for the devil knoweth he got a short time, therefore he coming down with great wrath. He he not gonna differentiate, all right. This was a loyal nigga. All right, this was a loyal spick. Yeah, he did. You know, you, you just all you all niggas and spicks in that day. All right? You got something out? What was you what, quoted? What were you trying to? Fuck what it sound like? I, get this. I, I, I was thinking two scriptures. I probably was thinking of the wrong scripture, but I get this. This is um, 
this is uh, Acts chapter 5, verse 38. It says, Now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone, for if this counsel of their work be of men, it shall come to naught. But if this be of God, ye shall cannot overthrow it, lest ye be happy find even to find to fight against Yahweh. See, so basically, you know, we, we see what we see what Christianity got us with 2.6 billion people. You know that it, that would they just come overnight. So we've seen after hundreds of years, but Christianity came, that came to naught, man. Mm -hmm. It came to naught. All right. It's coming to naught. Now yeah. this only been out here for what 60 years? Mm -hmm. About 60 years, you know. And this is actually moving. This is actually making stuff. To, and you're actually trying to reframe us from it, man. You're actually trying to make us stop. You're trying to make us stop for us, man. So now this was um uh 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 uh, uh what's his, uh this was uh. Who was this? Um, was that Nicodemus? Uh, no, it wasn't Nicodemus. It oh, was, uh, uh, Gamaliel. Gamaliel. You know, he said, "Hey, refrain from these men. Basically, hey, leave us alone. If what we're saying is really is really not true, then guess what? It's going it's going to do just like Christianity do. It ain't going to go nowhere. You know, it's going to come to naught, and it's going and it's going to speak for itself. But if it is true, guess what? You going you you you're, you're finding yourself happily because they, they, these people are happy doing the things that they do against us, fighting against Yahweh Shah, man." All right, against the Lord, and that's the real reason why they're doing it, because they actually see it. They see the stuff we, they see the movement, they see the 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 the, the, the power that these scriptures has uh, preached the right way, man. You know, right? Because we just the messenger, right? Like when you watch uh three hundred, when that uh when that that dark skinned messenger, that Persian messenger, when he came to Leonidas, he came in the name of uh uh uh, uh, uh Xerxes, and when and when Leonidas kicked him in that well, that was that was against Xerxes. So if you people, when you come against us and when you kill us and beat us, you coming against the Lord because we came in his stead. We, we, we the messenger. Precept. Got you. This yep. is Acts chapter 4 verse 13. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and said, and, and, and they took, and they, and they took knowledge of them and they had been with Yahweh Shah and beholding and the man which was healing Stand, stand, healed, standing with them, that it says they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded, when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they can, they can, they conferred among them, saying, "What shall we do with these men?" And for for that it, that indeed at noble miracle hath been done by them in and manifest to all them that dwelled in Jerusalem. And can't we not deny it? But mm. but that but that it spread no further among the people, least us straightly threaten them, and they speak henceforth to no man in this name. It says, and they called them and commanded them not to speak all nor teach in the name of Yahweh Shah. See? So really, they didn't look at it for the beneficial of the people. They looked at it for the beneficial of themselves. God. All right, and they seen the power. They seen what what these words can do, man. You got young, you got young, uh, uh, uh all men of all ages yeah. standing out on the highways and byways, standing out where, where people can, where millions of people were seeing them in the, the winter, the cold, the rain, the sleet, the snow. Getting you know? ridiculed, attacked. getting ridiculed, getting attacked, man. Getting slandered, getting lied upon, man. You know, by all, by all, uh, 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 um. By all angles, man. Yeah. You know, we're not even talking about what you see on camera. We're talking about what you see, what you don't even see off camera, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but you still have them standing boldly and standing, uh, 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 standing stiffly for the reputation, for the reputation of the Lord, man. Hmm. You know. So then, guess what? The, the uh, these people that see that they're gonna try to stop that, man. And how did Esau not gonna come? Because Esau thinks he's a king. Esau thinks he he sends people out to do his bidding. Yeah. All right. So what? So how? So what? So who is gonna? So who is he gonna send to do his bidding, man? He's gonna send somebody that looks like us, man. Yeah. All right. And they got so instilled into themselves that they really think themselves to be, uh, 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 um, they really think themselves to be somebody, man. You know, just to show you the proudness of Esau, he's so proud that the people that he has sent to yeah. us, man, they're they're even proud, man. Yeah, they you got know? his they got his education, they got his ways. Yeah, like they got this old video you could probably you know on YouTube. It talks about how uh, the white man, the so-called white man, is not uh, well now. But then the so-called white man wasn't deterred by a, a, a so-called Negro being successful because he says, look, he'll basically become one of us. He'll think like us. He'll, he'll, he'll dress like us. He'll, he'll, he'll buy. He'll buy, uh, he'll, he'll buy from us. That's why John 8 and 44 said, ye are of your father the devil. Uh, and after your lust, 
uh, Ye Will Do. Yeah, he was a father, you do, yeah. Yep. He, he was a murderer from the beginning. Yeah. And you a murderer. You flaying the skin off all these people's bones. All right? And, and he a bold, not in the truth. All right? So you had anything else on? Uh, no, that, yeah. I mean, it's just basically, that's the, that's the, and these were our people, man. These were our people telling um, uh, 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 Peter and John not to do that. All right? Yeah. So, yeah, man. Hey, it's the same people coming back again, man. Kind. So with that, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakudash. Once again, double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that ruled real through the scriptures. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect. Shalom.